Welcome guys to my new Let's Play. We are playing Grey Matter. Now, what is Grey Matter? Uh, all I know is point and click adventure game featuring magic. Has a wicked box cover. I really like the box cover. I'm sorry, I really like that box, box cover. Um, the other thing too is that it is written by Jane Jensen. So we're kind of continuing on with you know, Jane Jensen's games. Granted, I haven't played, like, certain other games. We did the Gabriel Knights. Um, I'm fully aware she did a couple of writing design stuff for, like, Police Quest. Some of the things here and there. As much as I'd love to play Police Quest, I think, two or three. We need to play the first one and then the second, that whole thing. Um, so I figure, because it's a standalone title. And the one she did after this was some... She wrote, I think, or produced, I can't remember, uh, some item finding, I spy, mobile game, whatever. I don't consider those games. So I figured we'd go to something a little more in her alley, of course, point and click. The one is Grey Matter. So yeah, all I really know about Grey Matter is that point and click, good chance puzzles, writing of Jane Jensen, or design, and magic. And a wicked box carver. That is all I know. We are, of course, going in blind. No guide, nothing like that. The usual shindig, just pure and utter blindness. Let's start this. Hasha. completely dead. assistant for Dr. Styles. I can't believe what I did last night. I need to get out of here before they figure out who I really am. Okay. Now to address my biggest issue with that scene, why would you throw a map just on the ground and piss on uh, out there, like, just drive without the map, just... I wouldn't do that, because what if a sign changed, or something, or your directions go incorrect? Which totally did for her. Yeah. Didn't like that. Didn't like the fact she's like, oh, oh, hey, I need to go here. I'm just gonna throw this map into the wind and just go for it. Oh. Uh, but I really enjoyed the art. The art in that scene was amazing. I really liked it. Alright, um, tutorial. Um... 
Learn how to play by helping Sam get her pet rabbit Houdini. Aw, I get rabbit's name's Houdini. That is adorable. Uh, settled in. You need to find Houdini and then give him food and water. Um, you know what? We'll do the tutorial. Why not? Let's let's just see what this game's gonna throw at me. Um, what can it hurt? Not much. I don't think. Alright, first find Houdini. Look around the room, move the cursor over items that look interesting. Click on everything that gives you a special cursor. Groovy. Okay. So I see the door. I need to find Houdini first. Houdini! Well, I see Houdini. Houdini's just chomping on that, that luscious green plant. Well, I want to take a look around though. First thing I need to do is to find Houdini, and I know he's not in my backpack. Poor thing has to travel in there when I ride my bike. That's the last place he'd go with a nice big room to explore. Okay, fine. We have to find Houdini. Okay, we found Houdini. Hi. Oh, hey. Houdini! There you are. Are you scared? Or just up to your usual tricks, you furball, you? I was worried. Stay put for at least ten minutes, will you, Who? Are you supposed to pick up rabbits like that? Just curiosity. Anywho. Good. You still need to give Houdini food and water. Check around the room to find those, these items. Make sure not to miss Sans' backpack. That seems like a big hint. Alright, let's stare Houdini. You poor thing being dragged all over creation. We have to leave again soon, but I'll get you some food and water before we go. Good, okay, uh, so I guess we checked the backpack, because that was a big and utter hint. Okay, we got stuff and things. Ooh, deck of cards. A clean, crisp deck of cards is one of the necessities of life. Okay. Hey, Mom and Dad. Looks like the rain didn't hurt you. That's cool. Now, do we double click to interact with further, or just... Hey, Mom and Dad. Okay, one click. We get the information. I see the food. I still have some Houdini goodies left. That rabbit eats better than I do. Uh, you found the carrot. Now give it to Houdini. Access the inventory by moving the cursor to the top screen. Right click on the carrot to ready it. And left click on the cage to feed Houdini. You can always unready an item by right clicking it, clicking on it again in the inventory. Okay, but I want to keep looking in her bag. Seems like there's a bunch of stuff we could take, because there's a bunch of grabby grabby hand stuff. So. A letter from the foster care department back in DC. I don't need to take it. Okay, so she's... Her parents died at a young age kind of thing, and she's been in the foster the adoption system, I'm guessing? I'm almost done reading it. Trey got it. I don't need to carry it around, though. Possibly foreshadowing. Maybe. My first magic book. The tricks are kind of juvenile. But the basic techniques are timeless. I never go anywhere without it. Okay. Uh, what's this? Houdini's water bottle. Oh. Unfortunately, it's empty. Amazing considering how soaked I got last night. Cool, we found the water bottle. A towel is the most massively useful thing a hitchhiker can have. Okay, what is this? A girl traveling alone has to have more than a few tricks up her sleeve. Okay, and that? All I have is five pounds. I should never have bought that piece of crap bike in Liverpool. It wiped me out. The Deedless Club London. I will get there, one way or another. I have no clue what that club is. I'm assuming it has to do something with magic. Uh, but it looks like we've picked over everything here. Um, alright, so... She's... Oh, Sam's diary. Ho ho ho! We gotta read a diary. Uh, the diary contains all the dialogue descriptions you... Oh, really? Oh. Okay. I guess if you're kind of, you know, having brain farts, you know, yeah. Okay, what else? Let's A check good this. Good quality one. deck of cards, indispensable. Okay, carrot. This needs to go to Houdini. What with this? Oh, Sam's magic book contains basic tricks that may come in handy. Right click on the page to turn it. If Sam decides to pour a trick, pick one by left click. Oh, neat. Okay, cool. Okay. Several things a professional magician needs to learn. Or to remember, pardon. 
In the first place, you need to choose the right trick according to your situation. Browse through the book to find it. Once you have made your choice, mentally prepare yourself to pull it off. Consider the moves you need to make and remember to line up the right amount of steps. If you make a mistake, you will have to go back to the last correct move, so beware losing your concentration. So beware losing your concentration. Oh. Uh, when you have the right sequence memorized, you're ready to perform your trick. A professional stage magician employs simple moves. Basic move. Load an object from your image. Oh, well that's not basic. I guess it's basic for point and click sand. It's real life, not really. Uh, to a secret location on your body, palm an object from the inventory or from a location on your body. Vanish an object from a hand to a pocket or a sleeve. Move an object from a hand to a hand. Take an object from the environment into a hand. Plant an object from a hand to the into the environment. Manipulate an object in your hand. Misdirect your audience. Huh. Good to know. So, okay, there we go. Oh my god, we got the buddy. Oh my god, the buddy's adorable. The lock room mystery. The trick is to wad up a tiny... Wait, should we be reading this? We're spoiling, like, magic here. Um, spoiler alert for those who want to learn magic? I don't know, but I'm just saying that just to toss that out. The trick is to wad up a tiny rope control noisemaker into a piece of toilet paper and shove it under the door. When you have your audience, or a victim, with you, you activate the noisemaker remotely. It sounds like there is someone or something behind the door, but when they look inside the room, there's nothing there. Big chuckles are had by all. Okay. The destroy and restore ring trick. I'm not going to read all of this just because it sounds like we'll be using this in the future. Divine and conquer. The shredded and restored newspaper. The last great disappearing ink trick. Also, the bunny's adorable. The ominous mailbag. The telephone psychic. The bombless cup. Up in smoke. The super gross out self healing wound. And a fruit bowl. Cup and ball psychic. Okay. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay, we suck at this stuff. This fits Houdini's cage. It looks like it's empty. A girl traveling on her own needs more than a few. Okay, we know about that. All I have is five pounds. We know that. The Deedless Club London. We know that. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's see what else is here. Check the bed. Hmm, that's a great bed. Too bad it was just for one night. Oh, a question mark. The cursor is the empty inventory item cursor. That means you need to use one of your inventory items, in this case it's the water bottle. Open the inventory, right click on the water bottle, then click on the picture. Okay, so it is out of water. Okay. Houdini must have mistaken this plant for a really large salad. Nothing but trees out this way. I need to figure out where I am. Okay, so let's fill this up with. Oh wait, right click. This fits Houdini's cage. No, no shit. Okay, so we do have it in the inventory. Let's fill it up. Okay. Excellent. Now give the water to Houdini. Open the inventory and right click on the water bottle. Then click on the cage. Okay, so let's give him some water. First, Houdini must be. Yeah, 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 we're we're gonna do that. I don't know why I skipped that, but I figured she was gonna repeat what the tutorial said. Yum, nice cool water. I just noticed the tattoo on her next to a boob. I thought that was a giant mole. That that's a spade. That's a spade. Okay. Okay. I guess yeah okay. Yeah. This needs to go to Houdini. Yeah no shit. We're getting there. There we go. Houdini, eat. There you go. The hard stuff. Don't overdo it now. You never could hold your carrots. Congratulations. You have looked after Houdini and finished the tutorial. Now you are free to explore the rest of Dread Hill House. Good luck. I wonder if this place is dreadful. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> 
All right, so apparently we need to leave the room now. So let's leave the room. I need to get out of here before they figure out I'm an imposter. But first, I need to find a map or bus schedule or something so I can figure out where I'm going. Well, based on how quiet this place is, I don't think they're going to find out for a while. Anywho. All right, so let's explore this place. Let's let's check we're supposed to check for special highlighted stuff. So, I see this. Let's check that. Some dusty old armor in there. Ooh, armor. We could totally equip it. Ooh, gargoyles. Check those out. Those gargoyles look like they were taken from an old building or something. I would not be surprised. Um, I saw this here. Let's check that out. Ooh, spare room. That's probably another bedroom. I better not open it. The occupant might get annoyed. Psh. Oh, if anybody's around, I should say that. Uh, let's check out this. Uh, the monk. Looks like a monk. Or Quasimodo post-surgery. I do like the fact that when they highlight it, they tell you what it is. That's kind of nice. Weird painting. A woman and an owl. I like it. Pretty surreal. Oh, it's an owl? I thought that was a guy dressed like... Like a guy with an egg-shaped head. It kind of looks like a guy with an egg-shaped head. Okay. Let's open this door. David's bedroom. Who's David? Looks like it might be another bedroom. Don't think I'll go there. Who's David? We don't know who David is, but apparently the game knows it's David. This is... Okay. Well, I guess... Okay. Uh -huh. Then I guess we'll head this way to the foyer. Her walk animation looks incredibly stiff. Not a soul. Pretty quiet, too. Press the spacebar to turn hotspots label on and off. This function displays all the interactive zones in the screen. Okay, that's actually good to know. We could try it. Let's just try it. Ajah. Uh, Ajah. Interesting. Anywho. Uh, I guess we're... What was it? The monk? Oh, lady said... Oh, I'm sorry, lady. I thought you were a monk. Look at that statue of a veiled woman. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean, but it's sinister as hell. I love it. Okay. Uh, picture. Or portrait, pardon. She's beautiful. Kind of a Grace Kelly type. Wonder who she is. I'm gonna assume we're gonna find out soon enough. Just, just, just a hunch. Okay, I was wondering if she's gonna walk proper on the stairs. She does when, you know, she gets to it. All these friendly faces around here are freaking me out. I better find a map or letter or something that tells me where I am and how I get to the nearest town. And we just looked at the statue. Okay. I see a new. Okay. Well, check that out. Clearly, we need to check that. Ah, uh, there's a phone though. And this dining room. Let's check the phone first. And then we'll check all these doors. There's no one I can call. I don't know a soul here. And I can't call a repair shop because I don't have any money. Isn't there some information number you could call? I know in Canada, I think it's like 411 you can call to get an information or an operator to tell you a certain phone number and that. Granted, you know. I'm talking in 2016 when we have cell phones. I don't know if, you know, information is still around, but this game is like, what, mid 90s, late 90s, early 2000s? We didn't really have cell, you know, fancy cell phones right out of the bat, so information would still exist. You could just call 411 woman or whatever the equivalent is in Europe to be like, hey, I need a phone number for this. 
kind of thing. Yeah. Anywho, I'm done rambling. Uh, let's check out this room. The parlor. Oh my. This is a interesting parlor. Um, okay, so we could check this out. I want to check the other rooms, because there's also that um node right there. Let's check the front entry out. I think I noticed a plaque yesterday. I should have a look. Okay. Uh well, I assuming this is a plaque. Oh no, it's the house. Cool house. A bit creepy, but I kinda like that. Why do I get this feeling the house screams like the, the block, mirror, house? That game I, you know, put on hiatus and I really should go back and play it. But I've been putting it off. <laughs> I'm sorry, the intro is so slow and so boring. Okay, uh... Let's... I need to find a map or something. I have no idea where the nearest bus stop is. Okay, fine. See, see, you could call, like a bus. Depot and be like, hey, I, I need to know the nearest bus stop. But if I guess she kind of knows where we're at. Oh, wait there, the entry plaque. See, if you look at the entry plaque, people can find us. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research. Oh, goody. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? And this seemed like such a good idea last night. So, we're staying at Xavier's house? <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm gonna go back and s uh, actually, let's go over here. Okay, let's check things around here. I stuck my bike in there last night. I'll probably ditch it. It'll cost too much to fix it, and it's a piece of junk anyway. Okay, um, yeah, check out this place. That tower looks strange standing by itself like that. It's almost like a miniature or a replica. I love all this old gothic stuff around here. Neat house. Okay, well let's head back. It doesn't look like we can enter any of these places. Can she? Can she? Oh, she runs! Ah. Okay, she runs. Good, fantastic woman. I, I am pretty confident now. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. So, we can check the dining room quickly. Let's see if that's open. Okay, it is. This ominous and creepy place. Um, was this the kitchen? We can check the kitchen out. I hear someone in there. I better not. Oh, someone's here. Dun dun dun. Alright, let's check this envelope. For the new assistant. It says, for the new assistant. Hopefully by the time they figure out I'm not that person, I'll be long gone. Okay, well, do we get take it? I, I guess not. Okay. Okay, well, she wants to find a map. So we have to find a map. That is our goal, it's finding a map. So we're gonna go loot, loot and pillage the house, apparently, to find a map. I take it the patients have to wait a long time around here. All right. Well, I guess I don't know, but we're gonna, you know, interact and check everything out here. I do see a book that sticks out, but I'm guessing we can't interact with it. But we'll we'll click everything as usual. Someone must read a lot. Someday, I'll have a library. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, fireplace. Or fire 
dogs. It doesn't look like anyone's used that fireplace in ages. Someone must read a lot. Demon statue. You know, this house is downright creepy. And I'm an ex-goth. I know creepy. Check the ashtray out. I don't smoke. Good for you. Uh, I see a bunch of pictures and diplomas. We'll go over here and check that out. Oh, picture of a couple. Ooh. Nice couple. They look happy. Annoyingly perfect, maybe, but happy. So do we actually look at the paint? I guess uh, I was hoping we could take a closer look, but I guess not. Check out the diplomas. Okay, there they are. So I'm assuming that's the lady in the um, foyer. Uh, David. Oh, okay, David, the dude upstairs. Um, Doctor David Styles, neurobiology. Hope he finds the assistant he's looking for. Uh, well, you're an Im you know, you're acting as her. Doctor. So yeah. Doctor. Doctor. Okay, so nothing here. Nice couple. We look there. Um. Let's go get the scary statue here. Lovely. Just what I want to see when I'm waiting in a doctor's office. Now I do see this, and it screams a zipper pouch. It kind of screams maybe a map's in there, but I want to keep looking around. So let's check out the photos. Or you know, pardon me, photos of patients. How do we know they're patients? Seriously, game. These some of the doctor's patients? Interesting. Whatever. I guess it's nice to, to have photos of your patients. Oh, the desk. Let's check out the desk. There are no maps or bus schedules lying around. Not even an address. Okay, that's good. I, I guess. That computer is ancient. It might as well be an abacus. Um, box of photos. Maybe there's, you know, a map in there. Looks like family photos. Nothing of use to me in there. Okay, let's check out this Ooh, thing. I could really use a bit of that. Even 20 pounds. I'm stone broke. But it's the magician's creed. Never take cash or other valuables. I just can't. Well, shucks. There's no, you are here on the globe, unfortunately. Okay, well, I guess we'll check out this office door. See if there's anything special in there. It's locked. I, I guess not. Okay, well, I guess we'll make her run over here. Come on. There she go. Oh, never mind. You, you stopped. So, it's double clicking to run. Oh! Uh oh. Spaghettios. <laughs> Just going to see if he was awake. Oh, hi. You aren't sneaking out on us, are you? Me? Nah. -uh. Come and get your breakfast. I've got eggs, porridge, toast, and ham. <laughs> Be ashamed to let it go cold. No shit? I mean, thanks. Okay, if she didn't make toast for us, I would have just disappeared. God, I'm starving. I guess if they aren't onto me by now, another half an hour won't hurt. That's true. But yeah, I totally want some toast. So let's go to, I guess, the kitchen. Actually, let's go dining room first. We'll, we'll let our breakfast go a little cold here. Uh, anything? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Okay, oh, there's an owl. Um, but before I check this place out, I'm actually going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of Grey Matter. Hopefully this series goes smoothly as possible. As usual, do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other Let's Plays as well, all that fun stuff. Um, with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!